in my shirt, but that is kind of how I live. New favorite song, you ready? My internet fam, it's Queen DeBay, but you can call me Debbie. And yes, I did change my intro because, like, I felt like, hey guys, it's Queen DeBay, but you can call me Debbie really didn't fit me as a person. So I changed it up to be a little more, you know, a little more pizzazz, a little more exciting. And yeah, I'm wearing glasses in this video, which I have not worn glasses in the video in about five videos or something because I really, I just don't like, they take up my face or whatever, but like, yeah. Today, if you can't tell by my title, I am doing, I'm not doing, I'm talking about my weird neighborhood. My neighborhood's really new, so a lot of young children with young families, not, I mean young families, with young children, and when I used to go outside to like the park and stuff, because there's two parks in my neighborhood, I would meet all these children and I would like play games with them, which sounds weird, but it's not as weird as it sounds, or maybe it is, but like, you know. So I'm just going to be telling you some of the situations that happened, that happened to be, I'm saying happened too much, that just turned out to be a little like, no, this shouldn't happen, this is not okay, this is weird. But yeah, so, and subscribe, and follow me on all my social media, that's in the description. Same with all friends Okay, let's get into it. Dad. I'm so cringe. Okay, so the first incident that's just been really prominent in my mind since it happened is I was at the park with a few of my friends. Most of my, it was mostly all of my guy friends because most people I live in just happened to be guys that were in my elementary school and now I'm in high school that I hung out with. So I was at the park with them and we were playing grounders or sandman, basically the same thing. If you're on the ground, someone has their eyes closed, they have to find you on the park playground. You know what grounders is if you don't, you know, childhood or go search it up and then come back okay but we were playing with like these seven year olds we were probably like 13 to 14. we were bored don't judge us so then we basically you know how kids get upset over everything we made this one kid it i'm not even gonna say his name because i'm, I'm at that voice crack i'm not even gonna say his name because he was honestly i think about seven and i'm pretty sure his dad is a cop or his best friend's dad is a cop and i don't need to get arrested anytime soon but yeah, we made him it because he was on the ground and he got like grounders. So he was it, but he did not want to be it. This kid was not having it. He was not going to be it. He was throwing a tantrum. He was like screaming, like, I don't want to be it or whatever he was doing. Like this kid was going ham at the park. So we're all like, no, you have to be it. And like, he's like, no. So you know what this kid does? There's like this pole that's on the ground. I think it's so you can stand up and reach the monkey bars. And it's probably around like knee height for me, but it's probably around like a little bit higher than knee height on him. So what this kid does to get out his anger at us, he kicks this pole as hard as he could. And it's not just like a little like, oh my God, I'm so angry kick. This kid looked like he was in like FIFA World Cup taking like a free shot at like a net to win like World Cup type ish. I don't know if any of that stock references made sense. This kid kicked it as hard as he can and fell on the ground in pain. At this point, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know what to do about this situation because like, that's not my fault he kicked the pole, but like if I stay here and his dad comes, I'm gonna be like, you were doing this to my son. Why did you let him kick the pole? I can't control nobody, son. I ain't no mama. I ain't no babysitter. Control your child. So he's on the ground like crying and uh, we're all kind of like, why did you just kick the pole? And his friend runs over and like helps him and after that, um, I don't know what happened. I, I think we left at that point because after he kicked the pole, uh, any, nothing else made sense after that. I was just thinking, this kid just kicked a pole because he didn't want to be it for grounders. Why would he do that? But yeah, that was just one of the occasions where this 
my neighborhood just revealed this weird kids that live within it. Like this kid had serious anger issues. Like honestly, he could have like broke his calf. Is that a real thing? His shin bone, his shin. But yeah, first incident. Weird, weird, weird. Okay, so in my neighborhood, I have neighbors. I said that as if not everyone who lives in a neighborhood has neighbors, but I have neighbors too, you know? My neighbors don't like me. They've never liked my family. My mom tried saying hi to them when we first moved in. They're kind of like, that's not very welcoming. But whatever, we don't talk to them anymore anyways. So there's some children in that house. There's, I shouldn't even say what they are because I feel like they ever somebody found the video know I'm talking about them, but there's no enemies for neighbors, but whatever. They have like a daughter who's probably in grade five, six now, and then two sons. One's probably in like fourth grade, the other's probably in like first grade. I don't know what's going on with this family or their children or whatever, but they always do the weirdest things ever since I moved here. Like one time I was, on the, I was in my backyard on my trampoline with Vicky, who you've seen already in my last vlog. They would just come and they would start throwing random things over the fence, and I mean random things. At one point they would throw rocks over my fence gate into my backyard, like what are you doing? Do you want to kill me? I'm sorry, I don't know what I did to you. No thank you. And then they would throw like shovels over the fence into my backyard and like pails and like anything they could find to throw over the fence and it's like what are you doing? And then me and Vicky would stand there trampoline to be like... You look, you're like, I don't know what's like wrong with you, but like, can you like not be such a little shit? Thank you. Like, what are you doing throwing fence and shovels? Not like a big like burial, I'm a kill you shovel, like a little like sand shovel. And I did nothing to these kids ever in my life, so I don't know why they were doing this. And their parents really didn't care, so. That's what those people did. That's interesting. Like, no. Okay, another incident in my uh, interesting neighborhood. This happened with the same kid who kicked the pole. We hung out with him multiple times just because he was hilarious. Not hilarious, like what he spoke was funny. What he did was funny. So I came later because my guy friends were like, come to the park. And I'm like, sure, let's chill, homies. Yeah, live it up. I get to the park and then that kid who hit the pole and his friends, whose dad is a cop, they were fighting. One of my friends may or may not still have this video. I'm not I'm not gonna try to find him and insert the video. Not find him, I know who he is. I'm not gonna insert the video because like the dad already made us delete it and I don't wanna get arrested for like showing their faces. But just know that they were fighting and not just like anybody, they were like legitimately like punching, scratching. One of the kids had like a huge ass stick probably like this big and was like whipping at this kid like like no chill like he was trying to jab him like kill him and they're best friends supposedly but this kid was just going ham trying to like kill this kid and like scratch like it was it was insane these kids were in grade one i was in grade seven at the time i'm pretty sure insane and then we're watching and then the one kid got hurt somehow like the one who had the stick not he didn't get hurt he hurt the other kid with the stick and this kid, you know, like, kids are all tough and, like, I'm gonna fight you until something happens and they're just, like, peace. And they run home and that's how you know you, you were in shit. Because that child's not gonna come back alone. He runs away, we're hanging out with the other kids saying, oh yeah, man, that was so cool. Like, props, bud. Like, you're, 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 you're the real MVP. Like, you, you so cool, you know? And this kid comes back with his dad. His dad is a cop. So at this moment, I was like, oh, hell no. Hell no to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Hell. I bolted. All of my friends we started running. The one kid was standing there. I don't know what made me do this, but I picked him up and started running with him as he was crying because I don't know why he was crying. But I'm holding this kid running through the past like no 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 like dodging this and like dodging that like I'm just like my muscles suddenly appear but I'm carrying this kid like no problem running because I don't want to get arrested. And he starts crying and I'm like why are you crying? Do you want to get in trouble? He's like eee. and I'm like okay beast fade out. I bolted. I was gone. I was not saying find out. And the dad was getting really close to this point and I'm just like no. So I ran and we went to go. Me and my friend went to go hide out in this place for a while to make to wait till they left and then be like okay whatever he's gone so then we're walking around my suburb because it's 
it's not a gated community, but there's really only like two. My nose is itchy. It's not a gated community, but there's really only two entrances into where I live. So if you don't live here, don't come here. So walking around, you kind of stay in one area. So obviously, the father had some idea of where we were. So we were walking around, and then suddenly this car pulls up next to us. My heart stopped this moment. I knew I couldn't run because I'm pretty sure he saw my face already. So I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. And we didn't really think of any like anything of it because we thought he was driving by and then he stopped and he rolls on the window and I'm like, it's the kid who got hurt, the father, and then the other kid. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And he's, the father's like, excuse me, young man. Um, uh, you have a video of my son fighting? Could you please delete it? I don't know, I'm talking like Barack Obama, but you know. And then my friend's like, oh, yeah, I can do that. And then he deletes it. I don't know. My friend likes to think he's a hacker and he's not really a hacker. So he says he deletes it, but he actually like leaves a copy of it on his phone. I really hope the father doesn't find this and go back and like try to put a lawsuit against him. But he makes him delete the video of them fighting. I'm pretty sure he still has it. Wish I could find it, but that was really weird. These kids were in grade one and they were just fighting it out. Like, no chill. Okay, and this other incident happened with my best friend, Laura who's yet to be featured on this channel, but that'll happen very soon. Maybe if she like wants to be in my videos, you know? So we're outside sitting on my driveway because we didn't want to go inside my house. I don't know why we didn't. We were sitting in the driveway. It was warm outside, so who cares? We're sitting there. And then down the street, I don't know. I feel like the kids in my neighborhood are conspiring against me to uh, hurt me or secretly just hate me. Like, I, I don't know what it is. I'm really the only teen girl on my street. The person across from me is like a teen guy, but he's like 19, he's in university now. I'm really only a teen girl. I don't know, maybe they're obsessed with me. But these three girls live up this street from me and they're friends with my next door neighbors. So the ones who are do throw the rocks and stuff. And they were outside the three girls and we meet Laura sitting in the driveway and they're behind the green box. Like, you know those green boxes every street has electrical wires or whatever inside of them, those boxes. These girls are behind this box. Don't know what they're doing. They're having a little tea party, eating worms or whatever children do, or yeah, or eating beetles, yeah. And we're, we're not like thinking anything of it because like, why do we care? And then suddenly from like behind the green box, we see <laughs> like this girl is taking videos or pictures of me and Laura sitting on the driveway. What are you doing? What are you using those pictures for? And it's like, I know you're young, but why do you need pictures of me? What you gonna do with them? No, don't do that. No, thank you. And then me and Laura kind of like, ugh, it's just really annoying. So we're kind of just like, Okay, haha, ha, you're funny. We see you taking pictures. Please stop. We don't appreciate it. Bye. But these girls, I don't know, their parents just didn't care. They went around taking videos of people, but like that's what they did. And then they keep doing it. And then me and Laura kind of like louder, like, okay, we see you taking pictures. Stop taking the pictures. Like, it's really annoying. We didn't give you our permission. And then we started trying to scare them by saying like, oh, we could like sue you for taking pictures of us and if you don't delete those pictures, we're gonna get our parents and you're gonna get in so much trouble because kids really literally believe anything. We were not gonna take them to court and sue them for taking pictures of us. We really didn't care that much, but it was just weird and annoying. And then they start scootering like past us on the side of the street back and forth. I don't know what they're trying to do. And then as they're doing that, they keep taking pictures and stuff and then we stop and I'm just like, like, I have no chill. I'm being mean to these kids. Honestly, the oldest one is maybe 10, the youngest one is maybe 6. And I'm like, okay, you guys need to stop taking pictures of us. It's really annoying and we will get you in trouble, like, somehow. I don't know exactly how I said it, but like, you need to stop. And the girl stands there. We're not taking any pictures or videos of you. And I'm like, you know what? You know what? I saw you behind that green box being all like, hey, 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 oh my god, hey. don't you lie to me. And I guess she got scared of me because I, I guess I'm intimidating somehow. 
and then she scooters off and disappears into the wilderness. No, that, that's not that's not what happened. She she's not like a secret like wolf, you know. She scootered away to go back into her house, and then I never saw her again or doing that again. So I told those children, right? You don't mess with me. Yeah. Okay. That's another incident. <laughs> But yeah guys, not guys, I don't call you guys anymore, that's weird. But yeah, that is some stories that happen in a weird neighborhood with the kids that I live near with who like to kick poles because they're angry, who like to fight and then like run away but then come back. And then like who like to throw rocks over my fence with like pails and sometimes they would leave like rocks on my porch and like the kids would like, take pictures of us. So. Positive, they're all conspiring against me and my friends to do something. Maybe they're part of the Illuminati, the Freemasons, I, I don't know, okay? But that's all I have for you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining or funny. And also, I know like I'm not like a huge YouTuber, I'm not even relevant. But like, I got a lot of comments and like likes on my last video and I want to say thank you to you guys for like leaving nice comments and thumbs up my videos because it makes me want to keep doing this so i don't know that's just a little thank you and thanks for watching this video keep smiling shining and remember you don't need a crown to be royalty bye Riding with my top down and my jury on. Hey, I'm just getting my hood on. I'm just, I'm just doing my thing. I'm just, I'm just, just doing my thing. Hey.